Hey guys. So in biology, there's a pathway known as C4 pathway, which is also known as Hatch and Slack pathway. Now, this is a very complicated diagram and it might come in your exams. So, I'll be explaining you how to remember this diagram easily. So, go ahead and take a pen and paper. It will be easy for you to understand then. So, we'll not be drawing this diagram, but instead we'll be drawing this diagram. Now, it's it looks uh, easier than this diagram, right? So, I'll be explaining you from the beginning. So, go ahead and take a pen and paper. So, first, what you have to do is draw two circles like this. Now, uh, it's better if you draw bigger circles. So, draw two circles and then uh, erase these portions. Two portion two arcs of the circles now once you have done that now join these two circles like this making two cylinders so it looks quite like a dumbbell dumbbell shaped diagram so now make two lines make two lines like this um, which are parallel to each other and then in the first line uh, make an arrow like this arrow up upwards and another line draw an arrow downwards the first will be up and the second will be down so next to complete the to complete this like a uh, cycle what you have to do is make two arrows like this so it looks quite like a circle right so you have to leave these gaps because you have to write the names then make another line like this it quite looks like a smiley if you look only this side is this diagram it looks like a wink emo emoji so now make another arrow like this so this looks like a circle this whole thing looks like a cycle now you have to leave these gaps because you have to write now in this you have to make another circle now you think it as a tongue of this emoji uh, this uh, I, I'll tell you why the, you have to make the circle then you have to make three arrows or two arrows uh, like this uh, indicating from where the step starts and all so you can make any arrows how many arrows you want then next you have to make a small line like this because the end product is uh, glucose I mean not the end product but the last uh, uh, word is glucose so always remember in this diagram at the last will be the glucose so next make an arrow here also then you start naming so to remember these names uh, you think uh, you might be knowing glycolysis so in glycolysis uh, the second last uh, product is phosphoenol pyruvate the last product is uh, pyruvate and the second last is phosphoenol pyruvate and this this is the second last product of uh, Krebs cycle it's not actually the second last product because uh, it's a cycle so there is no last but uh, at the tenth step, you uh, at the ninth step, you will get malic acid. So the second last. So you remember like this. This is the second last product of glycolysis. This is the second last product of Krebs cycle. Then this is oxaloacetic acid. This is the tenth step of Krebs cycle. So you remember like this. Tenth step of Krebs cycle is this. Ninth step is this. This is pyruvic acid. This is the last step of glycolysis. So this is the 10th step of glycolysis, this is 9th step of glycolysis, this is 10th step of Krebs cycle, this is 9th step of Krebs cycle. Now this is malic acid, you don't have to do anything, just uh, this malic acid goes down here. You don't actually have to name this but uh, to indicate it properly you have to name it twice. Now as I told you the last will be glucose. You have to remember this. This circle is the C3 pathway. This, this whole thing is the C4 pathway 
and this is the C3 pathway. You might have learned this before the C4 pathway. So this is the C3 pathway. Here. So uh, there are a few things, a uh, few products and uh, reactants we have to write. The first one will be CO2. Now to remember this CO2, you can quite remember as this is oxaloacetic acid and uh, uh, you have to remember this CO2 coming in here. So here you have to make another arrow. Here actually the NADPH2 will convert into NADP. So the hydrogen is removed from here. So uh, you can uh, remember even the uh, enzyme like this because the enzyme used here is maltase dehydrogenase. I am not writing the enzymes but if you want you can remember these because the hydrogen is removed here and this is malic acid so the enzyme used here is maltase dehydrogenase then over here the ATP will convert into ADP so you can understand that the energies are used here here NADPH2 is converted into NADP here ATP is converted into ADP and a DPH2 uh, gives rise to three ATPs. So here ATPs are used. Here also ATPs are used. I mean the energies are used. So to remember this ATP to ADP conversion, you can uh, remember like this. Like from phosph phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvic acid, one ADP is converted into one ATP. So for the reverse process, ATP will convert into ADP. So the energy is used here. Now here also this CO2 is over here now. now this CO2 you can remember as C. this looks like a C this looks like an O so you can quite remember this CO2 here okay, this you have to remember now this is over but you have to name what are these things so this this middle portion over here this is known as the plasma dust matter now you can remember this as uh, plasma, you know what's plasma, it's uh, cytoplasm of the cell. So plasma dust matter, you can, uh, by seeing this diagram, it looks like uh, uh, there's a cell division going on over here. So the cytoplasm is split. So the plasma is split. Like this, you can rem remember that these things are plasma dust matter. Now the first cell, these are actually two cells. The first cell is known as the mesophyll cells. Then the second cell is known as the bundle sheet cell. Now, uh, to remember this, uh, you can remember the bundle sheet cell. Like, uh, as you can see here, this is a circle. So you can uh, remember this as it's uh, like a bundle. If you make some dots over here, you, uh, it will look like a bundle. So you can remember the wherever the circle is, like a bundle, that is the bundle sheet cell. And the other one will be mesophyll cell. Here you can remember even like this here malic acid is there and here mesophyll mm like that also you can remember so just uh, put an arrow indicating the cells and that's it so see how easy it is you can even go through it again and you can practice this diagram it's very easy regarding this one because this is a very complicated diagram but you can make this one this is quite easier so I gave you a simple hints to remember what, where, where, where is what. So you can make your own hints and remember the diagram. I'll be telling you uh, more diagrams afterwards like the C3 pathway and all. I'll be making more videos. So please subscribe. Thank you.